Win a wet t-shirt contest without a little surgical help. Doctor's just wonderful. <laughs> just look at these. Oh, wow. Have you noticed that women today are bigger? A lot of women are having them done. I don't know what happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. From this maze of pipes and columns, water rolls right off silicone-treated material, but air continues to go right through. This is a shoulder pad. It's no different from this implant, chemically. This implant violates every rule of medicine, science, and engineering. I got breast implants <laughs> to make myself what I believed looked better, and I hated them from the start. <laughs> From the get-go, I didn't look like other girls. So later in life, I tried to alter that. I discovered that I had breast cancer. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the double mastectomy. After breastfeeding, I felt that my breast had lost their volume. I just felt kind of like the odd one out. I felt that breast implants might bring my life back together. A silicone implant were to break, and I'm just gonna go for it. Um, you see, it doesn't come apart. That's an older type of implant, uh -huh. and that's, that's completely safe, by the way. The FDA and doctors say implants are safe. Many believe unexplained illnesses are caused by implants. Well, I can say unequivocally that it's a safe and very effective procedure. Playmate Karen McDougal removed her implants almost a year ago. I stopped driving, became pretty much bedridden. It's chest pain. I developed Raynaud's syndrome, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Hair would fall out my head every single day. I wanted to commit suicide. The majority has declared war on the health and well-being of millions of women. We had put aside scientific information and we had bended to the corporate interests. I'm Sybil Goldrich and I'm responsible for the largest class action lawsuit in the history of the United States and nobody's ever heard of it. Plastic surgeons testify that small breasts were a disease and breast implants were the treatment for the disease. Implant makers presented their data to the FDA just a few months ago. Those studies just disappeared. I was embarrassed because here I am putting them in patients and I had never seen these papers before. All the people who have conducted and published the studies are all people with financial ties to the company. Somebody's not telling us the truth. What is the physical agent that causes illness? There's a lot more work to prove that such an illness exists. How we know that this is a particular illness is that when you completely take out all the scar tissue associated with the implants, the patient gets better. We were not aware that there was anything in those implants except pure silicone. They're made up of 40 different chemicals. I just want these things out of me. It's scary to tell your kids, where do you want to go if mom dies? How would they make it in life without me? We have to have the criteria which holds the manufacturers responsible for the safeguarding of women's lives. I can tell you right now, and ladies that are here, if you were told that you could have this, would you have gotten implants? No. Thank you. I can't believe I've been working on this issue for 27 years and more women have breast implants than ever before. You might say that breast implant women have never been counted because we really don't know the exact number. It sounds to me like we're going back to the early 90s. Why were we wrong? Was the data inadequate? Was the science not mature enough? The women were the experiment, the guinea pigs. We need to listen to women that something is happening. I was not going to die here. This thing that was attacked my body was not going to win.